Okay, so in the prior video, we took a look at the in-game settings menu. Now I'm going to jump in and take a look at the actual airport menu. I got my goofy cans on. Let's go to quick play like we've already set, and we're gonna go into TIST. We're gonna select it, and now we get to go in and look at the actual configuration options. So here's where I can set up all my different runway options. We only have uh, runway 10 and 28, it's a single runway. I'm not sure what all of these are. I think these are the taxiways, if I recall, T-I-S-T. -T. There's no real instructions as to what this is. So I guess these are the taxiways that intercept T-I-S-T. -T. Let me pull up a quick taxiway now. It's been such a long time, but I know they have these taxiways. All right, taxiway map, yep, alpha. Nope, I don't see alpha. So what are these? I'm out of practice on all this. Yeah, none of these are really taxiways. Bravo intersects at Charlie. There's no whiskey. It's just Alpha Charlie, Echo Foxtrot Bravo, Golf. Hmm. I don't know what these are. These could be distances or directional. Hmm. I do not understand. So I will have to do some research to figure out exactly what that means. Obviously that gives me the direction because I populated it there, but that also gives me that direction. So clicking on the other end switches the direction. And if I highlight it again, it highlights everything. So I'm gonna leave it with everything highlighted. Actually, let's turn Romeo off just for giggle since it's dead center of the airport. Let's just figure out what happens with that. Weather conditions, loving the look. 20 Celsius. I didn't see an option to switch this to Fahrenheit, actually. Let's go back into settings. Game. So units. I know I'm a heathenistic American who's used to imperial units instead of metric. Eh, I know Celsius is, what, 50, 60 degrees, something like that. It's not too far off, so I shouldn't be too bad. Uh, 30 would be starting to get in the 80s, 90s, I believe. 40s pushing 100 and very hot, so we'll leave it at that. We'll go midday. We're just going to leave it there. 100% traffic density. Airport radar style. I guess this is for larger airports and other stuff uh, where you can download new airplanes. Airport databases. I don't know what that means. I think if you change the config files a little bit to give yourself other options, then that might be what you can do. Cause I know you can configure uh, certain runway. Oh, that's what these are. Oh, these gotta be the different airplane types. C's gotta be cargo, passenger, light. I'm, I'm guessing that's what these are. I'm, I'm gonna assume these are the airline types. I'm going to take Romeo off. I don't know what it is. But these have to be the airline types that are going to be able to land on that runway. That's what that's got to be. All right, I'm going to leave everything else as default. Um, let's jump in. It sounded like my menu music got a lot louder. Interesting. Load screen, very similar to the load screen in Tower 3D Pro where you get no real information about what's happening. And my, if you saw my mouse going to the default window spinning, and the game comes up as not responding, so it's pulling something off my SSD into RAM, but you don't even get a percentage anymore. I'm sure these are the things that'll be quickly fixed, patched, or updated, but that is a little disconcerting. Now again, this is a brand new game, and the default Dolomati, and I uh, forget all the others, that's the only one I really remember, because it was in the picture. Uh, airlines are going to be in the game, they don't have real traffic, that'll probably be a mod that comes down the road, so that's what's going to come out first. Uh, again, this is not going to really worry about controlling the actual airplanes first, we're just going to be looking at the options of the game and what we can do and the way it looks. Uh, okay, that's interesting. It took forever to get to 50% and then it jumped forward. Okay, so where's my pause? Pause, how do I pause? Uh, nope. Okay, I can't read squat. 
I hear a plane somewhere powering up. Pretty cool view in the tower. Ah, and you get the triangles to know where you're looking. I like that. 3D radars. That turned all that off. Okay, so this is the old style tower look. St. Thomas Ground. Field Air 1608 with information India. Ready to start. Okay, so there's him. How do I select him? So definitely going to have to go find a user's manual on this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't seem to zoom in. Ah, there's the pause. Okay, that's the speed of the game. Go away. Um, interesting. I guess I have to... Okay, so... F1 brings me back to default. F2 takes me to this screen, because you can only look at one screen at a time. Okay, this is going to get interesting. Separation 10, separation 5, there's an inbound, looks like Frontier, but it's not. This is my runway configurations, I'm landing on 10, which is out at sea, coming in. India, I don't remember what that means. Okay, this is nuts. 5, what's this? These are my strips. We should really pause the game. So the bin are the airplanes that I've handed off. These are my strips. I've got two FRTs. I have no recollection of what those are, which sucks. I'll have to listen carefully when the arrival comes in. Um, right now, these are two pending because I haven't touched them or done anything with them. And then I'll have to move my strips over once I've actually done something with them. Uh, nice that you can move it back. Go, I think, gives you the option to send it to the bin. Typically when the physical strip is done, if it's a, if it's a physical one, you would slide the paper out and stick it in a bin where they could track it all. Um, and I guess that's what the bin allows me to do, go back and see which ones I've done. Uh, so once I accept it, that means I've got radar contact. I've taken over control of it. It pulls it off the other radar folks, sends it to me. Um, this is interesting because this is set up with runway 10 and runway 28. Ground departure pending. I don't have runway. Oh, shoot, it's middle mouse button. That's going to have to change, but I can't change that yet. No, 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 no. That is annoying. It's not. I can't have that. Well, I can use my other button. That's normally my sniper scope. Okay. Um, so that guy's going to get pushed back. That is huge. Let's change that. I love that you have these options now to modify this, but I'd like to see a way to predefine these and maybe assign different color codes to different statuses. But taxiway tags, I love that. Runway tags, love that. Let's make these a little bit smaller. Yep, loving that, loving that point of view. I don't need a monster POV tag. I know where I am. Orientation, let's keep it to the real. Okay, loving that. Uh, six, you're my what? Last plan called, you're my actual keyboard. And command lines. St. Thomas Ground, FRT with information, India. Yep, I got my basic options. Cool. Doesn't look like keyboard does anything. Uh, F7 is weather. I guess that's just me looking out the window. Four. Okay, that's going to take a lot to get used to. Now, what I am confused about is I don't have Runway 28 set up. I wonder if METAR will matter, too. Huh, that's cool. Anyway, um, strips, strips, F5. This makes it look like I've got that. Uh, it, it, let me describe what's going on in my mind. I'm working linearly from left to right. That's how... Uh, the English language would read something. So if I'm looking from left to right, now I know this is not on the game, this is on me learning to properly run a tower. Um, but normally I would go from left to right. 
and that is what I'm going to have to do because normally I see this black bar separating ground from arrivals and then I see two departures and two arrivals and I want to move from here to here, here to there. That's not how it works. This guy's going to go up here to departure on 10 because that's the runway that's active right now and you're going to go to an arrival once I take it. So that's, again, mentality that I have to learn those strips. But if I look at how this is set up, this is taking up one of my monitors. I operate on multi-monitors nonstop. At work, I had five monitors configured to monitor the service desk that I manage and everything else that was going on. I used all those monitors and it made me very efficient to be able to keep track and just pivot my head. I doubt they'll be adding um, VR anytime soon. That would be a cool feature to be able to actually look at the monitors and that would make this a hell of a lot easier. Because what I want to do right now is expand out to full widescreen where if I go back to this view, I will have this one essentially on my front monitor taking up the top, this one on the bottom. And all I'll really need to do is go down, up, down, up, down, up, and it'll be such an interesting thing to do. Uh, whereas now I don't really have that option. Uh, F7 is weather. Whoa. I do not know what the heck just happened, but that was interesting. Now what I like about this is from the weather view, I can still look at everything that's going on. Really, I'm only going to be paying attention to these two monitors and the strips. I noticed down here they have an add window. In the old game, you could do that as well, where if you had multiple monitors, you could add and move certain, uh, like your Dbride or your ADIRS or your strips, you could stick them on other monitors. I didn't do that because again, I was making YouTube videos and it was really unpleasant to try and show all of that on the screen. Um, but I'm gonna click this real quick and see what it does. It'll, if it breaks my recording, then uh, we'll see what happens. It's thinking. Whoa. I do not know what it just did. Uh, okay, I've got a new Steam window here. And it looks like it has taken over the recording. There's nothing on it other than the fact that this window is ridiculously huge. And very blurry. So... I can create a new window here, which is awesome. I don't know what you do. Okay, so I could stick that there. I could get my deep right there. Yeah, so this is just kind of creating it similar to the old game where you can have these. Um, that is a really cool feature. This may make it easier for me to manage externally. Why can I no longer edit these? There it is. Um, these may make it easier for me to manage because I could stick this. You can't really see that I'm, what I'm doing, but I'm sticking it off on my left monitor. And then I can click back on the center one. It looks like the update to my recording software allows me to switch between multiple windows of the same game. So thank you, recording software updates. Um, but that's actually interesting because that might make the videos more dynamic as I click over to this to take a look at maybe what I've got going on strips. Wow, but that's really hard to see. Let's make it a little wider now. Yeah, I may have to add a... I may be using all three monitors for this, which is awesome. And if it works like this, then I can get away with doing it. Um, on my three monitors without a big issue. And that would be awesome because that would really make this a much more interesting game and video to watch. So pretty cool feature. I love that this is there. I can't really read the strips though, which is a little difficult. Um, this is my comment line. This should be information once it's given to them. Sweet, comment added with ease. So, if you remember towards the end of my, oh, full screen. If you remember towards the end of my run, wow, I can't even read that. That is terrible. Um, 
Let me close that window. If you remember towards the end when I was working with Eli Grimm's custom mod, no, not Eli Grimm's custom mod, I'm sorry, Wildcard's custom mod with Eli Grimm's schedules, I was getting confused between which planes were at which stage of the process, and their recommendation was, let me go down to my strips, was to add comments. Now on this screen I can read the comments. It's still a bit blurry on the screen, which is going to trip me out, but um, being able to add the updates was great and it just did not want to work. Oh, whoa, I can totally screw with the camera right now. Oh my, that is sensitive as not. Okay, I don't like that. Four, five. Okay, good, it resets. Um, but I couldn't easily add those comments, it kept breaking, whereas this appears to be working just fine and I can add and remove it with ease. That is fantastic, loving that. All right, so I think that's pretty much everything. I don't recall how to go external in the camera view. I don't think that was a setting option. Uh, let's take a look. Input, camera turn, rotate tags, middle mouse button, zoom, seat camera, yeah, nope. I guess uh, it doesn't quite work like that, but if I go up here to weather cam, nope, there it is. There's my super fast move, and I can come out here, latitude. Wow, that is cool. Wow, slow is super slow. These are all the plane models. Uh, I need to find the right down button. Okay, controls are a bit janky. Shift moves me forward. Okay, so I guess I can't come any closer, whoa, to the ground. That's not cool, unless I do this. Interesting. Well, the airplane models look great. I wish I could get closer to seeing them, uh, but that's cool. Let's go back to my seat in the tower. Oh, this is so cool. All right, so I gotta figure out who this is. I will find out when this person calls in for arrival on 10. Coming in from here, you're my ground view, four is that, you're my strips. This is going to be insane, so I'm just going to unpause it for a minute and see what I can do. I don't know if I've got all these planes in, if so then I may need to use this. Okay, so I can just hit go to accept it and put it on my system, which will allow me to do something with it. Still get the sound for when I talk. I don't remember their flipping names. So I've only had one plane come in, which is this guy. So let me speed it up and see if I can get that aerial one to come in. Let's go look at my... is. Hmm. Maybe he won't call in like in the old game. The old one used to call in at the 20 mile mark. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 miles, 25 mile mark. And I don't know who you are. Well, I am just doing epic fail here. Let's go back down to 1x. Let's come over here. Uh, I need to select a plane before I can do this. So let's go back. Nope, let's go to you. You are selected. I'll keep wanting to call that Frontier Flight, but that's a FFT. Uh, nope, strips. Strips. Down here. You. Now, can I say something? There we go. Push back approved, expect runway 10. Got the continue across runway, hold cleared. Negative. We don't need pushback truck. Just please approve our start. Field air 1608. Interesting. I got a uh, ringing telephone. OK, 
Okay, for, uh, I forgot to listen to who he was. I was too occupied with what he said. Ready to start. No. Okay, I guess I have to come back to the strips, highlight him. This is abysmal as far as me doing something positive here. Approved, expect runway 10. Ground, one zero approved. Okay. Field air, one six zero eight. St. Thomas Tower, field air two zero eight on final one zero. Okay, field air. St. Thomas ground, Denali eight six four with information India, ready to start. Denali eight six four, approved. Was the command? I'm so used to doing this the other way. F6. Denali 864 approved. Expect runway 10. Field Air 208, runway 10, cleared to land. Runway 10, cleared to land. Field Air 208. Okay, I love the sound of the voices. Oh my god, I need them to speak faster. Please, this was an option that was added to Tower 3D. Holy, holy finoli, they, they are so slow and I cannot do anything about it. No! Oh well. That will be a bug report. Close. All right, so we've got... St. Thomas Pound, Denali 864 ready to taxi. Denali 864, runway 10, taxi via Alpha. Okay, that was a bug. Denali 864, continue taxi. Field there, 1608, continue taxi. Continue taxi. Field there, 1608. Okay, now I'm just playing this off of what I recall the uh, commands in the old game, which is good for me. Line strength. Okay, that's those. Print out. Do I have a new tag coming? Nope, I don't need that one. Tag size. I want to see tag distance. I don't need it so far away. <laughs> all right. Well, we're doing all right. You're coming in. I don't know if we'll get any of those planes out. I don't think we will. Let's go take a look. There they are. Two little Cessnas taxiing out. Uh, I heard something print. Where the hell's the printer? Okay. Let's come back down. Whoa, that's not quite right, but there we go. Sweet, those animations look so good. Oh my gosh, it actually turns instead of pivoting on a dime. Taxing a bit fast, though, for a little Cessna, I think. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, their engine may be able to import the other airports with minimal adjustments. This looks pretty similar. They just added the foliage and some other stuff. This looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get them in, though. Let's go to three. Yeah, you guys are at five miles. I don't know what plane you are, though. Okay, 864, I need you on departure. You're going to 10. I cannot recall all the airplanes. D-prop. D-P-R-P. 
I gotta look up how to read the actual strips. That's the from, that's the two, that's the two, from, that's the two. You are the tag. I don't remember what you two are. I don't remember what you are. You're the time. Yeah, you're the time. Uh, don't know what this means. I'm assuming this is the airplane. Anyway. Have a look-see. Okay, that guy should call in ready in just a minute, but the next plane isn't quite on the ground. Do you tell me where you're going? Ah, you do. You're going there. Oh, I can actually click them while I'm doing this. Flippin' awesome. So you should vacate runway right. Field air 208, vacate text. And field air 208, take next available exit on right. Great accent, I love it. Okay, this guy didn't call that he's at the taxiway. Denali 864, runway 10, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. We got the other one on approach coming in now. Oh, loving it. Ooh, some flicker out there in the fog of war. Okay, that, no, 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 no. That, that is, that is triggering. <laughs> okay, they need to put somebody in the game who walked up behind me. <laughs> Ooh, that's good sound. And really creepy. Is that a moving truck or a plane powering up? Oh man. Okay, those sounds are awesome. Some real distractions, because okay. Get on the deck. Yes, slow Tinkerbell. Whoa, fog coming in. Wow, you can see the landing lights really well, even during the daytime. And they're offset. You got the nose one and you got the wing one accurate on the Cessna. Beautiful. Bit of a flat landing, but not too bad. Can I see the flaps? Yeah, it looks like the flaps are down. Dulamati 208's pushing up. I don't know if this plane would actually exit to the right. It is good to see that he taxied down there a little faster. Please exit quickly. This is a high speed exit. You did not need to slow down so much. Flaps are down, that's beautiful. He did get here much faster, I will say that. And, ooh, turned off his landing lights. Oh, love it. So cool. Yep, there goes the flaps. Completing landing checklist. Dulamati needs to call in that he's ready. That, that I don't like. Uh, so let's go. Dulamati 208, runway 10, cleared for takeoff. That is nothing. Denali 864, runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Denali 864. Field there 208, taxi to parking. Ah, oh, they didn't have it. Field Air 208, taxi to apron. Taxi to apron. Field Air 208. Field Air 1608, runway 10, line up and wait. Runway 10, line up and wait. Field Air 1608. Okay, good. We've got different colors on him. Denali 864, turn right, heading 180. Turn right, heading 180. Denali 864. 
No bank. That's a bit disappointing, but it is a smoother turn. Denali 864, contact departure. Roger. Good day. Okay, so let me pause this real quick. We've got a few things happening here. There are colors in here which I like. I wish there was a few more colors that were going on, but arrivals... Ugh, sorry here. Got to get used to which one it is. Arrivals in that color is great. I wish this parking icon wasn't quite so huge because that's going to be hard to see in other ones. Um, the selected aircraft don't highlight, so it would be nice if it would highlight the color. Like this one, you saw it change to a pink. This one, I don't think really changed. Yeah. So that one didn't really modify. And when I handed Denali... Denali, I keep doing real airplanes. I'm sorry, that is Denali. Dolomati was the bad one. Uh, so now this plane is grayed out. This is normal. I should still see it, and I should still have visibility of it, but I've handed them off to departure. I didn't have to give them frequency or anything like that, which is a bit disappointing, but um, they're off to departure, and I can now bin that particular airplane. Um, so let me unpause it. They're flying again. Now that they've contacted departure, I don't know if they're going to follow my right turn. I figured they wouldn't turn left into this mountain. Um, Fielder 1608, runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Field air 1608. So you are going to the bin. Now you can see I've been to my first aircraft. Well, that's a nice car. Sheesh. Is that a Lotus? Okay, once he pops up. Fielder 1608, contact departure. Roger. Good day. Okay, you're out of my plate. You can be binned. You have touched to the gate. Saint you can Thomas be binned. Ground. Field Air 1628 with information India, ready to start. Field Air 1628 approved, expect runway 10. Ground, 10 approved. Field Air 1628. St. Thomas Ground, Field Air 1628 ready to taxi. That was quick, you just barely started your engine. Fielder 1628, continue taxi. Continue taxi. Fielder 1628. Yeah, so there's a few bugs on that. That guy should not have pushed for a taxi yet, I don't think. He just barely got powered up. Ah, oh, you can zoom in so much nicer now. Okay, those two planes are out of here. Uh, you allow me to change my airport up. I got no wind. I didn't configure it. You're my only aircraft, and you're my tracking screen. I don't know what all that stuff does. Speed 10 knot. Oh, that's uh, real-time info for the plane. That's cool. I wish that was bigger. Uh... All right, so I'm liking the view. I'm liking the options. I've got some new commands I need to learn, that whole approved thing. But you can see it's pretty easy to figure out the basics of it. Getting good is going to be managing what's happening. This is a very slow airport, so there's not really anything to do on here. I did notice the last plane called, which is awesome. Um, so far, I'm liking it. I like being able to move between these screens to see everything the way it's meant to be seen. It gives you a lot more to do. Moving the strips around is a lot of fun. I really like this. So we'll get this last plane out and then we'll kind of wrap this one up and see what the post screen looks like. Let's boost the speed here and get this guy to the end of the runway. Wink. Field there, 1628, runway 10, one, cleared for takeoff. Runway 10, cleared for takeoff. Field there, 1628. I have a feeling in this version, doing the climb to 
flight level, blah, 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 cleared for takeoff, contact departure, whatever, is going to be a very helpful command in this. Simply because there's much more to manage. Somebody is crumpling a very large sheet of paper. Yo, be quiet, Casper. Let's watch my plane take off. See if the voices pick up at 2x. Man. Fielder 1628, contact departure. Nope, they're still slow. Bend. All right, so that's the desk. That is awesome. I am going to call it there. Oh, we got no errors, no problems, no infractions, takeoffs, landing, last played, all time. Really cool options. They need some settings. First and foremost, I need to be able to speed up the speech. That is unbelievably agitating. Nobody speaks that slow, especially in a tower. If you've listened to any real ATCs, especially at a busy airport, they do rattle off commands. They don't just yell them kind of like I was doing in the old, excuse me, Tower 3D Pro videos that I did, but they don't, they don't speak that slowly. That's unrealistic. So overall, first play, pretty fun. I think when I come back, we'll take a look in the next video at uh, some of the career mode options. Unfortunately, I'm stuck at TIST, so it'll be a little slow. I'm controlling two hours, but I will definitely be boosting the speed up to get through that time frame. So looking forward to it. Looks like I can level up through quick play and then I can unlock these other ones. So I only need 1100 more points, which is awesome. And this will get me right to the edge. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.